The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Now we are ready to look at two-slit diffraction patterns. What we have here is a, is a slide and on the slide, we have pairs of slits. The individual width of each slit is 100 microns. And the spacing between slits varies anywhere from 150 microns to 2 millimeters. The only thing we've added to the previous setup is, is this lens in order to expand the beam so that we can cover um, both, both slits. So let's first look at the diffraction pattern associated with, with a single slit. So now if we look at the screen in close up, you can see we have a, a single slit diffraction pattern. The, as before, the circles are five centimeter markers. And in addition now, we've added the little squares, the two squares, and that denotes the separation between the zeros of the center lobe of the single slit diffraction pattern. Let me remind you that the spacing between the slide here and the screen is about 200 centimeters, and we're using 6,328 6, angstrom light. All right, so you have all the tools needed then to calculate spacings and what have you. So now let's start by looking at the smallest uh, spacing, which is 150 microns. So indeed, what you see is that the single slit diffraction pattern now has been modified by the addition of the other lobes, of the smaller lobes. And this is for then for 150 micron spacing. Remember, each slit width is 100 microns. Now let's go on and look at 175. Well, 175 from 150 is not much of a change, so you don't expect to see uh, much narrowing of the, of the small lobes. Let's go on to 200. Well, here you're beginning to see that the, the lobes under the single slit diffraction pattern are now narrower. And now 300 micron separation. Well, here it's clear. They're getting, they're getting narrow. In fact, you have about five of them or so under the uh, central lobe of the single slit diffraction pattern. Now let me go on to the 2,000 or two millimeter spacing. And at first, you think there's no little lobes under the single slit diffraction pattern. But all we have to do here is get the camera to zoom in. And as it zooms in, you begin to see that indeed there is structure there. And if, the, if your calculations are correct, you'll be able to show what the spacing is for a two millimeter slit separation. Now, in the, in the next uh, demonstration, we're going to show the, the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern associated with many slits.